Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this dipping platter. It's a low light bowl with a smaller bowl set inside of it for dips or sauces to go along with chips or veggies or whatever you'd like to use it for. First we're going to start with making a low light bowl and of course we'll start with centering. I'm going to start with a low wide cylinder before I open it to make it into a larger wider bowl shape. And that's what I'm focusing on right here. I'm pressing the clay down and out until you get a low wide cylinder shape that's about an inch and a half to two inches thick. And when you go into opening your bowl, I use the side of my fist and I press down in the center and bring my fist out towards the outside. I'm gonna go back and compress quite a few times with my sponge or my rib, both actually. And I'm compressing the rim every time as well. What I'm looking for is a shallow wide curve, very similar to a plate. Then I'll work on pulling up the walls at the very end. As you can see, my bowl is coming almost all the way to the edge of the bat. I chose to use a smaller bat, not really thinking about it, but I suggest that you choose one of the larger bats so that you have enough space. I started down at the base to pull up the walls. You really just need to pull up the walls a tiny bit, so a couple of pulls. Going back to check on your center curve, compressing and smoothing out the curve with your rib whenever necessary. And that's it. The last thing is just to smooth it out with a sponge or a rib and shape the lip of the bowl the way you'd like it. You're gonna undercut it with your wire and set it aside to dry for a while. The dip bowl is just gonna be a simple small bowl. I measured the width of my larger bowl and it was about 12 inches wide and about two inches deep. So I've chosen to make the smaller bowl somewhere around six inches or a little bit smaller. And then again, about two inches deep. When I'm finished throwing this smaller bowl, I'm actually gonna trim the bottom round so that it fits inside the curve of the round larger bowl. So some of the clay will be cut off the bottom. So I'm still gonna throw it to about two inches as well. The clay is now centered and I'm opening in the center with a curve for a bowl shape. I'm gonna make sure that I leave some clay on the bottom, but also not so much because I'm not gonna leave a foot, I'm actually gonna trim it round. I wanna make sure I don't go through to the bat, leaving just a little bit of clay in the bottom. I'm compressing the clay with my sponge and I'll also go back and do that with my rib and I'm compressing the rim every time. Then I'm gonna go back and pull up the walls. Adding some water. I'll start at the bottom, gently and evenly pull up the walls a little bit at a time. by shaping the lip of the bowl to match the larger platter. And I'm gonna compress with my rib and sponge one more time. And then I'm gonna stop the wheel and measure the bowl and make sure that it's about six inches. The larger bowl was about 12 and I wanted it to be about half. So I'm gonna measure and make sure that it's six inches. I'm also measuring the height, I wanted it about two inches so that it would fit inside the bowl. One last time I'm compressing it with the rib and I'm done. Thank you. 